I kind of look like I'm Han Man. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is April, and this week I'm going to create V shaped jawline that is razor sharp just with my hands. First, let's take a trip down the memory lane. Ever since I was a baby, I've always had this chubby face and honestly speaking, I have no qualms regarding how I look because in a way, I think it kind of makes me look younger and possibly even more so 10 to 20 years down the road because these fats actually keeps the wrinkles away. But at the same time, I do find the V-shaped face extremely desirable and attractive. Like just look at Jenny from Blackpink, it's like she looks so pretty with the V-shaped face. And this is kind of what inspired me to do this one week V-shaped face challenge. But when it comes to face shape, there are actually really many factors which come into play. And the biggest factors which actually affects how you look is your bone structure. Like some people are just born with a V-shaped jawline. And this is mostly beyond one's control unless you go for a major surgery where you really reshape your bone structure. I've looked at the surgery videos before and honestly, they look pretty scary. The price to pay for beauty, I guess. The second factor which actually affects the shape of your face is really water retention, which is the reason why I look like a low-cut balloon in the morning. But fortunately for water retention, there are things which you can do to reduce it. You can have black coffee to reduce the puffiness in your face. I found working out in the morning to be extremely effective in reducing water retention as well. Another reason you may want to consider to work out in the morning instead of any other time of the day. When you're dehydrated, your body actually has a higher content of salt and therefore the body tries to retain more water in the body, giving the puffy face look. The masseter muscle is actually the largest muscle on our face. It is affected by the way we eat and chew and, and other daily habits as well. For example, some people have the tendency to actually clench their jaw and this actually results in a enlarged masseter muscle. So if you go for Botox, you will actually relax these muscles and that makes your face look smaller. But instead of going for Botox, I'm going to relax these muscles through a face exercise instead. So I found this exercise by this very pretty lady, credits to her. Honestly, I'm not expecting a huge change in the shape of my face after a week, one week challenge. Some people may choose to do this exercise for a longer period of time, but I'm going to try it for a week to see how it goes. So yeah, let's get started. Day one. Such a nice stretch. Next, we are going to massage our jawline. For this massage, I guess you can use some oil to reduce the friction between your hands and your face. My head hurts. The ancient way of doing a facelift. Day 2 As usual, she forget what she is supposed to do next. OMG OMG head hurts. Day 3 
Day 3. Day 4. Vibin Vibin April is thinking about food again. Day 5 April suddenly forgets what's left and right. Day 6 I kind of look like I'm Han Man Left side of my cheek kind of feels bigger than the right side. Bruh. Final day. Final day. Let's get get this done. Alright, day 7 done. This is the result after 7 days of V-shaped face exercise. Side by side comparison. Honestly, I don't think there's much of a difference, but it was a fun challenge to begin with. But anyway, I had a very good neck stretch and I think I needed it anyway. By the way, what I wanted to say is that the shape of your face is still very much dependent on factors such as body fat composition and your bloatedness for the day. So I would say that if you really want some serious result, there are really a lot of factors which actually influence the shape of your face. Just the workout alone, it, I don't think it will result in a significant change in the shape of your face in the short term. But I think long term wise, it may work. I don't know, perhaps I will try this for another month or so. Anyway, this was a very fun challenge and if you want to check out the other fitness challenge which I did, do check out my channel and do consider subscribing as well. And I think that is all for this week and I'll see you next time. Bye bye! <coughs> Example, you can have dark coffee. Uh, what is dark coffee? I don't go, I don't go, I don't go.